Okay. You know, the cool thing about running these two befores around um, those braces is I'm actually locking them in. I had thought about going back and putting lag bolts um, in there, but I'm like, well, why would I do that? You know, I'm, I'm locking them in there. Let's see, 82 and 7 eighths will give us our last one, I think. Yeah.
Well guys, I'm expecting company all the way from Texas. Got a subscriber um, that is on their way to North Carolina, but wanted to stop by here and see uh, firsthand what they had been seeing on YouTube. So I'm going to have to shut down here because they're going to be here shortly. While they're running down to the creek, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more 2x4s here. Think about it. I see I grew up in a small sawmill town. My daddy was a foreman of a sawmill. Whole town in Wells up there. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm really proud of that sawmill that we got down there because it has built everything up here. Friends, this is Jim. He came up here all the way from Texas. You're actually on your way to North Carolina, right? Right. So, yeah, he wanted to stop by and see everything. Now, does it look in person like it does on TV? It, it does. I, I, I recall all of it, you know. I watched you fix your house over there, you know, do the sideboards. Right. Yeah, I watched that. Did you watch me build that tower over there? Uh, I did. <laughs> that was a lot of fun building that tower. And then I built the smokehouse after that. Did Jennifer show you the smokehouse? No, but I saw it on TV. You saw it on TV. I remember the old, the old, old days of smokehouses. <laughs> well, what about Smokey and Dolly? Now that you've seen them in person, what do you think about the dogs? Oh, uh, they're prettier than now. <laughs> what do you think about them liking to go to the creek? I, I, I like to watch that. Yeah, yeah. A while ago, Jennifer took Jim down to the creek and I said, ask him if they want to go. And Lord, they just started barking, just raising uh, cane, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, so he got to go down there where they go to the creek. That's one of their favorite things, that and dog treats. What we doing? We're sitting up here at the outdoor kitchen, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do some woodworking, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Jennifer said she was going to tell a carpentry joke. Yeah, but I didn't know if it would work. Had to think about that. <laughs> woodwork. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. What were you telling me earlier about that animal that you can eat before it's born? born, born yeah, before it's born after it's died. What is it? What animal can you eat before it's born after it's dead? Yeah. A chicken. A, a chicken. chicken. An egg. Yeah. Well, you had me stumped. <laughs> What's been your favorite part visiting us so far? Getting to see you, Jennifer. You are the all-star of the show. Getting, that's exactly right. Getting yeah. To see Getting to see Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> Jennifer yeah. is the outpost. Yep. All right. Well, friends, it rained for two days, um, and it's actually sprinkling right now, but I have to get along with this project. I decided to go ahead and try to and see how far I could get. Well, I pretty much have to do this with most of my boards that come off because sawmill lumber is not ready to use. You've got to prep it, but it's not that big a deal because it's free and that's the right price right there. This was compliments of Mother Nature because these are the trees that she blew down in the last storm.
this wall right here gets framed. That section doesn't because if you follow our review channel, I uh, kind of covered this. This area right here is going to be the workshop, and then it's going to make an L, and it will turn this section right here. It's about nine feet wide. It's going to be 24 feet long. So right where you are in the camera, this section, next section is going to go on down that way. And then the front portion right here will be open, which is where the sawmill will sit, which would be another nine feet. I'll basically have one big post over there in the corner. All right, let's see, 99 and a quarter. And the reason that I braced this this way is because that side is open and I wouldn't be able to put a brace there. So since everything is connected and locked together, these two braces right here on these two posts should keep everything else from moving. So now what I need to do is transfer the marks that I made on the bottom on the top. So this one will go right about there. Yeah, I've got one little short one right here. There. And then I have another long one here. Yeah, building things this way, um, I have to take extra time to cut all of these angles here. focus on putting these bottoms on because I got the top on then we put the others in between I think it fits a little better over here You know, having a lot of tapes is a good idea. I carry that one. A lot of times when I run to the construction yard, a uh, lumber yard or something like that, so that I can measure things. We got 48 and three quarters. Thank you. 
79 and three quarters. Shabby. Well, we just about have this wall frame, don't we? this looks like oh yeah we like that that will work I think we got this side. making um, the outer frame for the door down there at the workshop. So I had a couple of logs that were kind of crooked. I decided to go ahead and try to squeeze the six by six that I need uh, before I can frame the front portion of the workshop down there because uh, I'm going to have to put this in. So anyway, that's what all this milling is about. I'm going to go grab another log, do the same thing, and we'll have both sides.
Well, so, yeah, I decided last minute that what I wanted to do was have a big, huge uh, entrance or front door to the workshop. So I thought, well, you know, I've only got a seven foot roof, so how am I going to have a big door? Well, a big door would be um, the framing around it for that area because I don't have a big, big space to deal with. So I thought that this would really give it a nice accent and add quite a bit to the workshop down there as we're building it. Yeah, I think it's going to look really good. Now what I'll have to do is only hew two sides. The side that's facing on the inside and also the side that's facing on the outside. The one facing the door, we want it smooth. And the one facing the inner wall doesn't really matter. So I have to decide how we're going to use this one because it does have a few blemishes. So, I think what I'm going to do, I, this back side is good, this side, you know, this actually, the deficit is on three sides. So, I think what I'm going to do is face this to the inside. So, if I put it towards the inside, I think it'll work. So, I got the draw knife. We're going to take this part of it off, because it would, some of it eventually comes off anyway because of expansion and contraction that work its way off, especially if you got any kind of heat around. I thought it would be kind of a fun little project to do, um, is make the front door for the new workshop. Now, Well, I had to stock back up on the screws for the bracing down there at the workshop. Friends, we certainly hope that you enjoyed the video and the visit. I'll tell you, it was a lot of fun. We always look forward to people coming by and hanging out with us up here at the Outpost. And I remember not too long ago, I think you will really enjoy this. Click up here in the top right hand corner of when we had a visit from Little Mountain Express, a bluegrass group that came up here and played for us. Folks, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.